Hey there, I'm Sean Collins, and I just wanted to give a recap of the presentation that myself and my co-founder of Affiliate Summit, Missy Ward, gave in London on September 28th at the Olympia Conference Center. Um, since she's still currently traveling around in Europe, I'm going to have to do this presentation solo. And so, um, as sort of a, a little assistance to any of the viewers here, I'm going to do a little visual cue. Whenever I'm doing any of Missy's slides, I'm going to just put on this wig here to represent that it's Missy speaking, if I can even figure out how to get this on. Okay, so so when you see me like this, then I'm Missy. But um, when I just have the baseball cap on, it's me. So anyway, let's get started here. Um, we, we spoke about the, the affiliate marketing view from the United States. And um, and basically we started out by talking about how the there's, affiliate marketing is an international conversation, how there aren't really any barriers. And, um, and really it's something where we can go beyond borders and we can we can and should be all working together, and I know there's been a problem in the past, I've seen it on a lot of forums and blogs and things where there's a bit of xenophobia, um, oftentimes coming from the U.S. towards British affiliates or any other country really, pretty much, and I think that's uh, certainly a problem. I think it's um, something that I guess requires education, something I'm trying to do over on this end here, where, um, where people just, I guess, short-sightedly affiliate managers are rejecting any country besides the U.S. And they're not really appreciating the fact that when they reject all these affiliates, they're rejecting revenue, basically. And so it's something that, um, that I think it's a global concern, something we should all be talking about and trying to bring to the forefront because a lot of people are losing opportunities just because of this short-sightedness. And, um, and a great thing about affiliate marketing is that we all have access to the tools. We can all do all kinds of great things if we just bother to work together. And I mentioned recently on a, a blog post I made on my blog about... Um, a term I use called info tithing, and um, sort of the way it's used religion-wise, where people are asked to contribute 10 percent of their salary towards the church. I was trying to sort of frame it in a way that asking people to maybe give 10 percent of their time to participate in the community, to try to um, sort of share insight and try to break down these barriers. Maybe um, jump in there and post in a forum more often, or send out some newsletter about the industry, make a blog get involved in a podcast, a video, just um, I think it'd be great to just hear more people, more opinions, maybe that would sway some people, maybe make some movement and some positive change in the industry. So uh, so hopefully we'll see that and um, I'm excited about what's going on this day in the industry. Um, okay, so next up is Missy to speak about mobile for a moment. Okay, so um, <laughs> so mobile um, Mobile is really emerging in the U.S. these days. I know it's more established in Asia and Europe, but um, an example of what's going on, AdMob is one of the predominant places where affiliates are serving up mobile ads these days, and they just um, recently went over one billion ads per month. So, um, so that's I think should be cause for excitement. Of course, Google AdSense for mobile just came out of beta, beta and um, and that's something that that I'm playing with personally. I know a lot of affiliates that I talk to are trying to get a hand in that and um, and you've got Google mobile search on AdWords also as well which so I'm sort of playing on both sides and I think everybody else should be definitely investigating and see what's going on there and um, and if, if you're not exploring already I think you should definitely have your site be mobile and um, and one easy way is if you happen to have a blog on WordPress there's actually a plugin just search for mobile plugin for WordPress on Google or wherever and you'll find it pretty easy, but it's um it's something so whenever somebody hits with a mobile browser to your site, then they'll get a mobile experience instead of maybe like a site that has a lot of tables and frames and things, however you may have architected it. But uh, a nice stat that I'd like to share with you, the Kelsey Group predicts that mobile advertising is going to hit $33.2 million this year, and by 2012 that number is expected to jump to $1.4 billion. So um, mobile is really happening, and you should definitely check it out. Um, as far as the percentage versus actual web traffic out there, I, um, I wasn't able to come up with a, some kind of global stat, but I can give you from my own personal stats from my blog. And I, um, I took a look at the numbers for August 2007, and I, and I just, um, just about two months ago, I started up having a, the mobile version of, the, of my blog at affiliatetip.com. And before that, people were just all going to my main blog. So um, so now I, I've come to realize that 8% of the people are actually watching it or viewing it from a, a mobile phone, 
So to sort of push those people away is really essentially just chasing away revenue that's trying to come to you. So um, you should definitely be paying attention to mobile and um, and get a grip on it, learn about it, and and start monetizing it. Okay, now back to Sean. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about video, and it's something I've been very passionate about, very excited about. There are a lot of opportunities out there. Um, a little stat for you. According to Comscore in May 2007, 130 million Americans are viewing video online, and um, that number just keeps increasing. And one thing people seem to just sort of take for granted, they, they figure that it's all about YouTube, that's where all the views are taking place, but it, it, that really isn't the case, and I'm going to go into that more in a moment. Um, a couple different opportunities for, I guess, networks, merchants, affiliates, everybody to really jump into this. Merchants can produce some commercials that they make available to their affiliates as creative. And then affiliates themselves, they can go out there and they can make some affiliate-generated video. And, and, of course, networks can sort of oversee this and try to advise both sides. An example of affiliate-generated video is something that I'm doing myself with Missy here. And uh, what we're doing is we have a, a new site called weviews.tv. W-E-V-I-E-W-S dot TV. And basically what we do is we do like a 60 to 90 second video where we review different products and services. And with that, we um, within the we post it to a blog as well as um, up to nine different video sites. And the what we say in that actual video blog, we transcribe that and post that to the blog with it, with the video. So it um, it's very keyword rich and um, we're seeing it get indexed very quickly and of course in that text we we build in affiliate links and so far it's just been going on for a month or two and um, and we're seeing excellent results something I definitely encourage people to check out and as far as that I mentioned that I upload to nine different sites I am um, I have a very compelling stat for you here and and one thing I as far as uploading to those sites I, I use a tool called tubemogul.com and basically instead of just manually uploading to each of these sites it enables you to upload to all nine sites at once and I'll show you a slide here of the different sites that I use but as far as YouTube not really owning the space like people seem to figure they do um, for our site we've used I have um, I found that of all the views that we get per video we upload 57% are actually coming from Meta Cafe um, Bright Cove averages out to about 0% uh, a few for each video YouTube just 9% Yahoo is giving us 16% of our views Rever 11% Daily Motion 6% and then a, a slim 1% for MySpace. So um, there's something coming from all these different sites. It's definitely worthwhile to just um, test out for whatever your vertical is. We're finding that I guess people that like consumer reviews seem to be at Meta Cafe, whereas um, I guess MySpace and Brightcove aren't really performing for us, but they might for you. So um, definitely test and test again, just see what works for you. And now I'm going to hand this over to Missy. One second here. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about Web 2.0 and some different things, um, some resources real quick. Um, we're running out of time here, but Blog Talk Radio is a great site for running your own podcast. Flickr for using um, pictures. Uh, Media Wiki is a great thing for um, powering. It's what powers Wikipedia, and um, it's a, a great um, platform if you want to have your own wiki. Ning is good for social networks. Twitter is a really neat microblogging platform. Tumblr is a place where you can have a blog and also aggregate different RSS feeds. And then finally, WordPress is sort of our blog platform of choice. And, um, and so that's it. Sorry we had to rush through that, but um, the, we're sort of short on time. And, and finally, um, Affiliate Summit 2000, 2008 West is going to take place February 24th to the 26th in Las Vegas. And speaker submissions can be handed in up until October 26th. You can submit those right at affiliatesummit.com. And the early bird deadline for pricing is December 21st. So that's it, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And take care. Look forward to working with you.